Okay guys, episode 8, we are here. We have, this time, purchased a storage unit. And it's not something I usually do. It's something I try to stay far away from because I am so picky when it comes to the things that I buy. I usually go in there hoping to score some of the stuff that I normally get, which is, you know, toys, comics, uh, random collectibles, antiques, and jewelry. But, you know, storage units usually come with everything. That's a whole house of furniture, mattresses, things that I don't want to deal with. Uh, this one, though, for the price, was fantastic. I paid $70 for this unit. I figured, you know, I could donate everything I don't want because it should be nice enough and there shouldn't be that much trash. So, watch and see. Okay guys, here we are. Um, they pulled the lock for me. They just have this sticker. I gotta make sure those numbers match. I'll have to check it later, but uh, I'll pull that off and uh, crack it open. Let's take a look. Woo! Look at the dust, the spiders. All right. All right. Here it is unit not too bad of a unit um, actually I really don't know what to expect out of it uh, things look a little different than they looked in the pictures pictures were kind of hard to tell what they were exactly um, I am liking the dust yep and seeing that where there's like a line from the dust from where this was to here means that the stuff wasn't really touched um i do like the fact that things are wrapped it's a computer so we got a computer here let's take a look in here and see oh shit that's a black widow ha, i literally just touched a fucking black widow awesome so that's something we're gonna have to yeah something we're gonna have to kind of pay attention to it just killed the black widow that's amazing um that's me not really giving a shit um, it seems like there's a, some stuff in there that's empty. So I don't know what to expect here. Um, we do know that there's Black Widows, so uh, we're going to take a look. So what they did is they taped the boxes shut. Um, I liked how... They tried to protect what they could. I probably shouldn't be breathing all this rat shit, but um, as far as keeping it from getting damaged, this unit is a mystery unit. The Hummel Gold Christmas Ornament Collection. So here's a little tip, and I don't usually give tips, but if you see Hummels, some of them can be very expensive. Um, in this case, it was the Christmas ornament set. It probably had maybe a hundred different ornaments that come in this set. And uh, it wasn't really that valuable. But uh, I just want to let you guys know, if you see Hummels out there, it's worth grabbing if they're in good shape. Let's see if this is in here. So give it a check. That tape basically ruined that box. Um, it looks like this might be the Hummel. Come on. Looks like it might actually be what's in there. Which is kind of cool. My phone is spitting out notifications right now for me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah empty all empty all empty well the boxes are here and they're on the floor <laughs> damn it oh uh, that was fun the, you know who knows they might be in another box what do you save empty boxes for in a storage unit i understand like if it was christmas and 
you know, you're like, oh yeah, I need to use these. Um, and never got back to putting them back in the unit. So that kind of makes sense. It just doesn't make sense to me. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hope that we can find these somewhere. But seeing something like this alone, it's kind of nice to know that they had good taste, you know. Unfortunately, these ones were empty, but I was hoping that I could find them within the unit as I dug more. I really hope that uh, things pick up. So at this point, I was kind of nervous, and I'm not going to lie. Right when I got to the storage facility and I was paying, a gentleman came in that needed help loading a washer and dryer from a unit that he purchased. Uh, he ended up spending $250. When I got there, I helped him load the washer and dryer. But I was like, hey, if you have this, this, and this, you know, let me know. I'll buy it. And he's like, well, look. Literally, I would say at that point of where he got to, 70% of the boxes so far were empty. Including a safe that was just hung open. The door was just hung open. Completely empty. It really had me nervous for this unit. Finding that first box and opening it and all the boxes empty was just a true scare. Here we go. You see, this is why you gotta dig to the bottom of the boxes. You never know what might be in there. And there's some jewelry in here. Yeah! <laughs> we're gonna see if we're looking at any actual gold. So, wow, look at that. Um, that's a pearl. This is just a vintage necklace. Um, really cool vintage gold tone piece. It's a locket. Uh, not gold, but just just a really cool vintage gold tone. Let's get down here with it. Let's get down here with it. Let's see. There you go. Native American. This one I believe is sterling too. Sterling with a, a pearl. Uh, this one here is actually. This is a. Uh, you know I can't read it. Not a diamond, but it might be gold still. This one is fake as ever. Um, this one with the tiger's eye, let's see what that is. Looks fake to me. Just right off looks fake. Uh, it's fake. Here's a nice little one. That's more of a better indication of it being real. But it's might be gold filled. I don't know. I have to test that one. This one looks real. Uh, I think this one's good. This one is fake. Fake. This one is what the fuck? Korea. It's fake. And then last, we got this one that is also fake. So we got a couple sterling ones that doesn't go. These ones look good. This will be random costume stuff. But yeah. At least we found some jewelry. That's a good sign. That is a great sign. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw these back in there so I don't lose them. Um, this can go. Oh, seashell lover. Seashell fan. The seashells actually can bring some money, dude. Dishes. So I know they were into crafting. It looks like they were into crafting. But uh, canisters, glass serving pieces. I like how they labeled stuff. Aside from the jewelry, I'm still very nervous with this unit. Even though I don't have a whole lot invested, time is money to me. Every hour counts and I haven't been able to find really anything spectacular. So I was pretty nervous at this point. Thank God I was just running out of these. I need more. There's a uh, nice little RCA Walkman. I know you can't see any of this, but we'll show you when the cool stuff comes. Donation. Thank you. This one says silverware, so I hope it's silver. 
Let me be aware. Silver color. Silver color wear. <laughs> you should put a... I don't know, that's someone... The cat one you could put on your video. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I should. You got yeah. it? The one with the people's face is probably not. Yeah. Oh, McDonald's toys. Yay! Um, let's see that there for a second. All it's right. got shit on the top of it. You got pure shit on the top of it. We got some sealed DVDs. Hey, 40 year old version promotional piece. You gotta love that. Uh, that guy looks kind of familiar. Does that look like some kind of. Yeah. Alright, but look at this. Look at this guy. Look at that. Alright, let's get these DVDs out of here. This is this is the randomness about storage units, you know? You're gonna have like fucking DVDs and then jewelry. What? And they're oh my god, look at that. Look at that beautiful turquoise sterling silver necklace. Wow. Excellent. Um, we're gonna just put that up in here. Oh wait, that's a gold. That's a pair of gold earrings right there for sure. I could tell you. Uh, yeah, that is definitely a, a pair of a single gold earring. I don't know where the other one is, but it might be. Uh, it might have just fell in the box. So we're looking kind of decent here, guys. Uh, I gotta say, I'm I'm happy just with those two pieces. Uh, it looks like a diamond earring right here. Let me pour this out in here. Uh, that looks like it might be actual. That is not a diamond, but it might be gold still. Uh, those are earplugs. Good, the bad, and the ugly. That's how storage units work. So I'm going to set this over here real quick and uh, kind of go through some more. Dig a little deeper. All right, so what I got here. here I need to move the bag. Take this. This is, that's gold. So, I'm pretty sure, guys. Okay, hold it. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what happened here, but uh, that's a gold necklace. This is this swan. I think is actually gold, which is you could tell. Yeah, that's that's amazing. So, um, um. This is a gold pendant right here, you could tell. Uh, no, that's silver. Oh, wait. It's silver. Uh, what is going on here? This is gold, for sure. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive that's gold. This is definitely not gold. Uh, this one. This guy's trying to get it into his locker and your truck's there. This one I think is sterling. It's marked. I can't read it. Here's the other earring for that set. We're still going through more here. Uh, as far as jewelry goes. Uh, perfect designs. Well, look at that ring. This is... Uh, I doubt it's gold. It's probably silver-plated gold. Here's another one. Looks like it might be silver. Here's another ring. Uh, looks to be uh, silver. There's some coins in here. Uh, here's a ring. This one actually looks gold. Yeah, that one's gold for sure. This one says uh, 10 karat. Uh, so yeah, guys. I mean, there's some. This is great stuff. We're still going through some more here. It looks like there's, here's another pair of earrings. There's another box. I don't know if this is a jewelry box. I'm gonna open it up and just kind of take a glance. Uh, does that say Ike? Okay, this stuff looks more like costume in here. Uh, they were definitely Alcoholic Anonymous people. So there's a ton of like the Alcoholic Anonymous coins, um, but I'm not seeing anything 
really standing out as far as gold or anything on that one. Uh, this is a cool little Coca Pelli donation. donation. And guys, we still got all this stuff to go through. We haven't even, we're barely just getting to the surface here. Uh, there's still quite a bit to go through. throw all this shit outside. A pair of socks. Another CD. This looks like it could go. Look at this. Woohoo! See, Those are worth a lot, aren't they? <laughs> aren't they? Remember? Do you see this one sell for like 75000 Hey guys, the 75000 sealed <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. What you know about it? The black diamond. Bullshit. It's, 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 it's bullshit. You found something good? Oh. I'm sitting here talking about dryer sheets and you're finding silver. <laughs> Look at that whole box of silver, dude. Oh, there we go. Like all silver? Or <laughs> plated? So, no, I think it's clearly. This whole fucking thing is full of it. Can I see one? No, it's, uh, I don't know, because it says French plate. If it says plate, it's not real, but some of it might be. This one says sterling right there. Woo! Uh-huh. Oh my god, dude. I don't have my magnifying glass. Sterling? Sterling! That's a big-ass knife. This whole tub! Oh my god! Look at this hurt. <laughs> Can I get these pictures out of here? It was under pictures. Look, this picture. And then. And then silver. Sterling. Yeah, I think this is. Boom. Look, this whole thing. Look, there, there's sterling in here. So. This has sterling on it? Yeah. Alright, that's a good one. That's a keeper. Look, the box itself isn't really that heavy, but... Oh my god, I couldn't believe it. Sterling. Tons of sterling, actually. It turned out to be so much sterling. Um, I kept finding more and more boxes of totes of sterling. They had it all wrapped really nice. Um, I took it home and started going through it. So we just kept going through it and going through it and finding more and more and more sterling. And it was amazing. Oh, Found another box, another box, more sterling, going through it now, holy moly, can't believe it. This picture just shows a bunch of sterling on the table that we pulled out of one of the totes. As we continued to go through more, we kept finding more. It was nuts. I love elephants. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. That one's perfect. It's a little baby. No, that's a dying elephant. That's a weird one to have. That's an elephant on the sand. Yeah. Oh, what? So this last picture was the full amount of sterling that we got. This whole tub just an amazing amount it was just so much and i mean this doesn't happen very often at all in storage units this is kind of the reason why i don't buy it there's such a risk and you're left with all the stuff to donate i literally donated probably 96 roughly percent of everything that was in that unit uh, i kept just a handful of items including all that sterling um this little bit of gold as in this picture and that was it everything else I basically donated so I spent all that time but luckily it all paid off when I found that huge tub of sterling 
So first of all, I'd like to give a huge thank you to my buddy Eric for really sticking it out and uh, putting up with me going through all that and helping me load everything and take everything to the donations. Man, you were such a great help. I appreciate everything you do always. Uh, you're freaking awesome and thank you so much again. So you've seen it here. Thank you for watching episode 8 where I bought a storage unit. I hope you really enjoyed it. I tried to make it as fun as I could. I'll be back next week, hopefully sooner, with another video of me going out garage selling. And because I did so well in that last one, I might be buying another unit. I don't know, but we'll see. It's definitely tempting now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, I appreciate everyone for the support. And we'll see you as soon as possible. Thanks. Peace.